Hi, I'm Morak Dias, back with an all-new Let's Play. And I'm going to play a Sega CD game, if you can't tell by that. We're going to play Jurassic Park for the Sega CD, which is possibly the best game that, you know, Jurassic Park ever came out with. The Super NES one is nice and all. The Genesis one is a little weird. Um, and the build your own park and stuff. Oh no, backstory. The the park ones are okay, like park builder. The, the best part about it is like making a Spinosaurus and then fencing in all of your guests and then putting their fence in with a Spinosaurus and watching you eat all of them. It just sucks because everything dies after like three months. Woohoo, we crashed our helicopter. Alright, there should be a rock around here. First thing I... Yes, there's a rock. Good. Yay, I have a stunner. The stunner is your basic weapon. I don't know why you're carrying it. Full motion video, go! Oh yeah, intense graphics. Some happy little brachiosauruses. Oh, yeah, look at you. You're looking at me. <clears throat> Is there anything even in this nest yet? No. Oh. Yes, you have these little visitor panel things you can go ahead and look at. Tells you about the dinosaurs. Oh, he only has one leg. Compi is one of the old-time smallest dinosaurs, about the size of a coyote, 10 pounds. Fossil footprints show that Compi's traveled in big packs up to a dozen or more. Exciting. Yes, all of these boards, you can get information stuff if you really want to listen to it. Compi's were as fast as coyotes, maybe 30 miles an hour. You already said very that. Very sinuous bodies, they love to move in underbrush. Ah, oh, no wait, he said they were big as coyotes. Which is coyotes, you freaking moron. Compies had sharp claws, long toes. They could climb trees real well. Pertinent information. Alright, well, let's get the hell out of here. This game is under a time limit, too, if you notice in the upper right. Which kind of sucks. But let's go collect some dinosaur eggs. Watch how fast I walk. Yay. It's good that when they left, they ripped up the uh, the rails. Because, uh, incidentally, this game is supposed to take place right after the movie. Hence the flipped over. Aw, he said he loved me. Alright, we have to do this quickly before I get gored by a Triceratops. See, he's rather angry. Alright, come on. Let's go. You gotta grab Mr. Injector. 
There you go. We are all better. Faker. See? Now he goes back to being normal. Not all angry at me. Alright. How the hell do I get out of here? Where's the path? Come on. I don't want to stand here all day. Yeah, I think if you honk the car horn again, he kills you. <clears throat> Which, they do have quite pleasant death sounds in this. Maybe I'll go to the, uh, whatever, B, G, and E, or whatever they call it. Let's grab some branches. And, uh, play you all the god-awful sounds. By god-awful, I mean awesome. Eat your damn dinner. Now this makes no sense. I, I couldn't figure this out for the life of me. Yeah, not like you couldn't just open that with your damn hands. Aw, uh. oh, look, they're over there chowing down together. Single mother triceratops. Going straight to hell. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people are upset and all up in arms because of, uh, you know, the T-Rex having feathers and all that. Psh, please. T-Rex with feathers is pretty damn awesome, if you ask me. The visitor center. The only thing that's different is the, like, the, the dinosaur skeleton things here are now smashed up. Give me your pliers. Oosh. Yeah, I can't do it. I don't think I can do anything about that. No, I can't. I need, like, bolt cutters or something. Alright. Look, over here, we got a little check-in desk. Well, you can't go into the kitchen and eat food or anything. <clears throat> Which is a little disappointing. Alright, first off, we're going to go down here. Intense graphics. I mean, for the time, they're really good. When this whole full motion thing was going on. I don't think I have to do anything with this. I think this is just video. Yeah, it just tells me where everything is. Yeah, that's it. Not exciting. Look, little cages. And guns. Guns are always good, especially when you're dealing with dinosaurs. Gimme. Yeah, there's. You gotta collect all of these CDs in the game. It's kinda weird. I mean, you don't have to, but in order to, like, get any real progress in the game, you need to. And yes, I'm going to use the exploit in the game. Because, frankly, I'm doing an LP, and I don't wanna have to actually watch all of my ammo, and if something goes wrong, restart the game. That equals not fun. Alright. Damn it! That's not the CD I wanted. Muldoon's office. gas gun and night vision goggles always helpful oh look kitty I don't know why I'd have a big poster of a tiger 
in an office when you live in a park <clears throat> filled with dinosaurs. I'd be taking pictures of dinosaurs. Blowing them up, put them on the wall. Alright. We're going to need to remember this. Alright. Tyrannosaurus. Little guy copy, I think. And I don't know what that is. I assume that's a Gallimimus. And then Jurassic Park. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, that's all I need to remember. Exciting. You'll also notice that the, uh... The jeep in the corner is completely fine. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Even though the only way to get that CD to do that <clears throat> is to smash up the jeep. Alright, uh, yeah, that's the only door he has. Do, do, do. Not much of a music score in this game. Until, like, later. I think when Dilophosaurus' attack you is probably the most exciting. And we missed something in here that I should have shown you. The most important thing in the game. Is this guy the egg incubator? Yep, I don't have any eggs. Yeah, I'm, I have this disc, but it's really scratched up, and I would play it on Sega CD, but the load times are god-awful. Alright, I think I used the wire cutters here. Eh, oh well. I thought I could get that early, but I think I... I forget what else I need. I need something to cut those. And I don't know off the top of my head what it is. But let's go to the control room. Advanced computers. And we have messages. Hi, I'm Emily Shimura. I'll be your contact on this mission, so keep an eye on your message light. It means I have new information for you. We were worried when our telemetry showed that your helicopter crashed. But as long as you're not hurt, keep going. We're pulling you out as soon as you've got at least one egg from each dinosaur species in the incubator. I'll check on you again in a couple of hours. Oh, and, uh, by the way, good luck. Yeah, good luck. I'm trapped on an island full of dinosaurs, you jerk. And I'll say you don't care about the rest of the crew of the helicopter, because obviously I wasn't flying it by myself. Jerk. Me again. Make sure you move the eggs quickly to the incubator. The longer an egg is away from its nest, the colder it gets. If it gets too cold, the baby dinosaur can die. Uh, what? The incubator keeps the baby alive until you're ready to leave. Got it? Yeah, checking on your Wendy's while I'm stuck on some island full of dinosaurs. Jerk. Yeah, let's save. Hopefully that actually saved it, but just to double check. There we go. I thought I already had a message. Purple things. Alright. <clears throat> now that we're saved, let's show you a secret ending. That's right. Technically I'm already going to beat the game. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. That's not what. Oh, no, there it is.
Jurassic Park's plan B. No, don't turn and look. And now you're gonna die. 